Scattered throughout the cosmos are ruled by countless gods who once were human. Long ago on one of these planets, a spirit child named Elohim was conceived. Through obedience, he proved himself worthy and was elevated to godhood as his father before him. And he lives with his many goddess wives through endless celestial sex, produced billions of spirit children. Both of Elohim's eldest sons were there, Lucifer and his brother Jesus. A plan was presented to build planet Earth where the spirit children would be sent to take on mortal bodies and learn good from evil. Lucifer stood and made his bid for becoming savior of this new world. Wanting the glory for himself, he planned to force everyone to become gods. Jesus suggested giving man his freedom of choice, as on other planets. Enraged, Lucifer cunningly convinced one-third of the spirits destined for Earth to fight with him, and thus Lucifer became the devil and his followers the demons. Those who remained neutral in the battle were cursed to be born with black skin. This is the Negro race. The spirits that fought most valiantly against Lucifer would be the lighter-skinned people. Elohim and one of his goddess wives came to Earth as Adam and Eve. Thousands of years later, Elohim journeyed to Earth, this time to have sex with the Virgin Mary. After his resurrection, Jesus came to the Americas to preach to the Indians. The dark-skinned Indian Israelites had destroyed all of the white Nephites in a number of great battles because all Christian creeds were an abomination, which millions today believe to be true. Everyone must stand at the final judgment before Lucifer, Jesus, and Elohim. Those who were sealed in the eternal marriage ceremony expect to become gods in the celestial kingdom throughout eternity. We too thus become God.